Hi, I'm Tanya Peterson with the Anxiety Shim Anxiety blog on HealthyPlace.com. Now, as you may very well know, anxiety is incredibly frustrating. It can be really unpleasant and get in the way of our lives. And that is pretty much an understatement. You may also know that a proven technique for reducing anxiety in the moment is to practice mindfulness, to pay attention to what's going on around us, to use our senses and engage everything, to pay attention to what's outside of our anxious brain. And that is very true. But did you know that sometimes the best way to deal with anxiety in the moment is to be mindful of that anxiety? Now that seems counterintuitive because what we want to do is pay attention to other things. And that's true. But there are times when anxiety is really intense and it's hard to pay attention to things outside of that anxiety because that anxiety is screaming for attention. Now, one of the frustrating things about anxiety is it's a chameleon. It doesn't stay the same. It changes. We can feel it physically or we can feel it emotionally or we can feel it in our behaviors. It affects how we act or we feel it in our thoughts. We've got racing thoughts and these things, these what ifs and these worries going through our head. Sometimes they all happen together or they happen in different combinations. When that happens, it can be really, really difficult to distract ourselves, to be mindful of other things. And it can also be difficult to know how to approach it. We have to know what is going on with us in order to know how to address it. So that is when being mindful of the anxiety itself can come into play. Sometimes there's just this vague tension. We feel really uptight, we feel really tense, and we're not even quite sure why. We just know that we feel it and it won't stop. Or we feel really just almost, let's say the opposite, we feel keyed up, and sometimes we, at the same time, we feel really unmotivated. We just can't bring ourselves to do anything. We can't start anything. We can't follow through with anything. We don't want to. So in those moments, stop and be mindful of your anxiety. What precisely are you feeling? How are you feeling anxious? Is it your thoughts? Do you have a certain thought that once you attend to it, you notice it, that one recurring thought? Is it physical symptoms? Is it muscle tension, a headache, tight chest, sweating? Is it emotional? Are you feeling jittery? Are you feeling in tears out of frustration or fear or anything? Well, those are just a few examples, but stop and be mindful of what your anxiety is in the moment. Now, of course you don't wanna stay there. You're not gonna be stuck in it and wallow it, but once you are aware of exactly what your anxiety is doing, how you're feeling, what you're thinking, you can then focus your energy there to start to reduce it in the moment. Do you need to go for a walk? Do you need to color to calm down, to journal, to blow bubbles, to breathe better? to work on your thoughts, identify them and challenge them. What do you need in that moment to reduce that intense and vague anxiety? So try it. Try being mindful of your anxiety and then dealing with it and seeing how much that helps. Thank you for listening and I'll see you next time.